Hi, my name is Kevin Ashton. I'm the project sales manager for WB Power Services. I've been involved with the critical power industry for over 19 years in both UPSs and generators. Uh, WB Power, we're the leading critical power specialist, providing power solutions, generator maintenance packages, and generator hire to customers all across the UK. A big part of our business is being involved with some of the largest data centers in the UK. Um, and having partnered now with Data Center Me, we're going to bring you an informative 15 minute video uh, covering items such as appointing your partner, project management of your data center build, and the testing process and ongoing maintenance packages. Okay, so who are WB Power? We're a family run business started in 1983, based in Hena, Derbyshire. Uh, we have depots in Barnsley and Gloucester, and future depots also opening across the UK. We're specialists in uh, generator hire, generator maintenance, and data center critical power specialists. As the UK's principal Kohler SDMO dealer, this year expected sales look to be in excess of £40 million. Pounds. When compiling a short list of potential companies for your data center build, Give consideration potentially to the size of the company you're looking at, what their involvement is within the data center market and their previous experience of data center builds and critical power requirements. Do they have any case studies available for you to look over? Perhaps even check the size of the company in terms of its credit standing. Uh, you want the company to exist in years to come. And also look at their accreditations, quality control systems which they have in place to assist with the deliverance of these projects. In terms of the outline requirements, do they meet the requirements uh, of the generators you need? In particular, an important consideration is impact load capability, um, the noise levels of the uh, gen set enclosures. Are there multiple sets? Noise levels applied to one set has consideration been taken into account for multiple sets running on what that noise level would be. In terms of the controls of the system, has that been designed and offered correctly? Is there N plus one main synchronization? Ensure that sufficient resilience is built into the design of the control systems. In terms of budgets, do they meet the expected budget for your generator package? I'm not looking to just solely make that decision on the cheapest product available, but have they covered all aspects of the generator package required? So in terms of project delivery, again, this is a, a worthwhile point uh, to consider before appointment or award of the project. Um, does your proposed partner have the capability to take on a principal contractor role in delivering the project? Do they have the ability um, to carry out full design and build, um, both from an electrical and mechanical perspective? Can they perform technically? Do they have the right in-house skill set? Um, and the right people on the project controls is an area of, um, where the right people and the right product selected needs to be considered. Cranage uh, on site for lift and shift deliveries uh, of equipment to site. Um, SAPs, senior authorised personnel, both from an LH, LV and HV capability, is that um, available to you? In terms of programme, can they deliver the, the, the package on time in the, in the window which is made available? And commercially, have they ticked all the boxes in terms of costs, you know, avoiding any uh, runaway costs on, on any of your project? At WB Power, we, when we've been awarded projects, we nominate uh, an appointed project manager. He would be your point of contact moving forward. That project manager is supported uh, by a technical director, uh, a design team, we have the capability to take from stage two, stage four in design uh, and evolve that design. We have a planning and logistics team for arrangement of deliveries, uh, craneage, etc. Uh, and a commercial team, uh, QS looking at uh, ongoing costs involved with the project uh, and reporting that back. This team 
they'll be involved heavily with site meetings and attendance on site where required. Um, certainly the project manager would be active in, in that or any site managers which we would appoint to the project. Monthly project review meetings would be held. It's a, a good point to raise any concerns moving forward with uh, any aspect of the job. Monthly valuations and any monthly designs. All of these you know, we actively Im invite the client to be involved with to receive their input uh, throughout the job so that they're aware of what stage we're at in terms of the outline program um, and any changes they may want to do uh, throughout the project. So prior to commissioning of the, your generator package, there should be a, an extensive testing program in place. Uh, at WB Power, we look to offer um, FAT, factory acceptance testing. Um, this can either be held at the generator factory or even at our um, depot in Hina. And often um, these now in current climate of COVID um, and accessibility, these can often be done online um, over a, a, a video broadcast of the testing procedure. Site acceptance testing um, on site, uh, once a generator has been installed and to carry out site testing, either using site loads or even load banks, uh, mobile load banks. Integrated service testing, uh, IST for engineers to attend um, and even following the final commissioning, <clears throat> a full black start uh, testing, so demonstrating a full power outage uh, simulation on site. We utilise uh, our own load banks to carry out these tests, um, to either simulate a, a resistive or even a reactive load. Uh, we're lucky enough to benefit from our own in-house load bank fleet of uh, equipment. Also to consider is um, during these tests, uh, the generators will be burning fuel, so sufficient quantities of fuel on site for the duration of the test should also be covered either by the client or themselves, but at least somebody has to cover that element of the requirement. And then following um, completion of the, of the testing programme, good practice to demonstrate to the client <clears throat> um, the functionality of the generator if they're not familiar with it or even on site guys. And then finally, following complete installation, complete commissioning of the, the package, a full uh, complement of hard and soft documents um, illustrating the, the complete generator package as installed. So upon completion of a uh, generator project, um, ongoing maintenance support shouldn't uh, shouldn't be overlooked. Indeed, consideration um, should be given prior uh, to award of a project to a suitable partner to build your data center generator um, package. Do they have uh, national coverage to support the generator installation? Uh, do they operate uh, using a centralized manned call center? Um, can they offer um, you know, a four hour response, 24 7, 365. That seems to be the uh, market demands currently. Are there engineers based regionally to be able to uh, ensure that that response time is met? More often now, we're seeing um, proposals given for long term life cycle maintenance support, um, more than just your maintenance um, labour on site, but offering three to five year costs covering other critical items such as uh, belts, batteries, uh, hoses, along with coolant changes. 